He knows we're going out and he won't come downstairs now. Come on, Reg. Get you some sausages. Come on, mate. What's going on, you lot? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to do a heavily requested video from my Instagram. I'm going to walk through, talk through of my car. But first, we've got to go and pick it up from CLP Automotive. Let's go. So we've arrived at CLP, car's just over there, just creeping. That's what the legends here at CLP. My boy Dan and Simon sorted me out big style. I'll let you all know what's happening in a minute once I've gone in and they've raped my arse off for some cash, but hopefully these guys will let me do a video on the inside of this place. It's actually really cool. We've got some really good things. I've actually got driving simulator and stuff like that. Like the waiting area is unreal. Obviously once the lockdown and stuff is over, hopefully they'll let me come in and do a full shop tour. But yeah, catch you in a minute. All happy with the car, Simon and Dan sorted us out massively there and their paint shop guy Eddie. I just pulled over quick to um, film this little bit. So if I clickbaited you from my Instagram, I'm just going to let you into a little secret now and tell you everything that's going on with the car. I'm going to come in real close. Absolutely nothing. Bit of ASMR for you as well. Yeah, that's it. Nothing's happened with the car. No bags. No wheels, no stage two, no coilies, no nothing. The car was in to get repaired actually. I hit a deer on the way back to work a couple of weeks ago. Uh, completely ripped off my front bumper and one of the lower radiators. So it's just been in for repair. And the reason I didn't document it at the time is I was so fucked off that I didn't think it was necessary to make stories about it. I've got one crappy video that I sent to a few people that I might put in, but yeah. I'll catch you guys in a bit because I've got a little bit of stuff to do now and um, hopefully I'll get this video finished tonight. You'll catch me in another industrial estate near my house and we'll do the walkthrough talk through. I'll catch you then. This is one of the things that I said I had to do today. Just been and got a couple of jabs at work and while we're in Lincoln we're going to take the dog for a walk around here. Enjoy. Dog walk done, nice little part that we found or some missus found on the old Google. Quirky little thing, hope you enjoyed that bit of beer roll that I've thrown in there. Off to go and see my granddad now, obviously at two metres distance, I've not seen him for a while. Just gonna see him on this front garden and let the dog see him and then I'll catch you a lot when we do the walk through talk through. See you in a bit. So, I better not keep you waiting much longer and show you my car. Here it is. Audi S3 2017 8V facelift black edition. <sighs> wow, what a mouthful. I'll quickly talk about how it left the factory and then I move on to the modifications that I've made. So it's going to be a whistle stop tour. There's going to be no fancy B-roll or anything like that. I'm just going to talk you through the way it left the factory and then the modifications that I've done to it. Yeah, so let's get started. So came out of factory with black edition. So what black edition is, if you don't know, is the black optics pack uh, if you order an s3 before the black edition pack came out you'd have to pay for the black optics pack which gives the same stuff there or thereabouts uh, black edition gives you these wheels that i've only ever seen on the black edition and they come with this nice quattro detail in there again more black instead of silver you get black mirrors and some of these fake carbon ones and then you get privacy glass in all three rear windows in terms of inside i can't remember exactly what you get but i'm pretty sure you do get b and o which sounds incredible and if you spec one of these definitely get it if you do know what black edition comes with inside please put it in the comments i might actually put it in the comments myself 
it's been a while I've got virtual cockpit which is a absolute must if you've got one of these cars or facelift which comes with tech pack or it's part of the tech pack package which comes with the bigger screen and you get Apple CarPlay and a wireless charging port in there Super Sport seats to finish off the interior nicely why Audi didn't give these to the S3 and RS3 as standard I do not know well I do they wanted more money offers because they look sick they're not that great at holding you in but they just look nice so why wouldn't you have them pan roof is the last optional extra I think I've got on this car just flexing my pan roof on you another one that's desirable but if you want to take your car on track and stuff I wouldn't advise it but if you've got the money and you want it definitely get it I didn't want it in the beginning well I wasn't looking for cars with that on it um, in the specs but now I've got it I think it's really good it's a nice thing to have in terms of modifications we'll start with the outside first and then we'll move on to the performance mods so as you saw I've got a RS3 grill like every S3 owner I can't afford an RS3 <gasps> as if he said that and he's got one yep it's truth people's deal with it I get a lot of comments about this and it's a Riga tuning back up a little bit uh, lower lip splitter um, I got it from a guy on eBay or other than that you have to order it from uh, Riga in Germany themselves um, it doesn't really have that many last time I checked and they sell out pretty quick and to be fair in terms of splitters and what's out there at the minute they are quite expensive like Maxton ones and stuff are like 150 last time I looked and these were like 225 but the quality is unbelievable so I've had was like one of the first mods I ever did so it's been like, oh, like two years nearly so lasted a long time and it's really good quality and it looks really good moving on to suspension I've got it sat on some Ibac Sportline lowering springs which I think gives it a nice drop could be a little bit low in the rear for my personal taste but the performance is really good the ride handling is really good and the comfort is actually really nice and it's comparable to stock um, I haven't got mag ride or anything on this so I'm just running straight normal shock absorbers the exhaust I've got on it is a Remus catback non-res focus and then I've got these big boy four inch stainless steel tips I used to have the full carbon ones get out the wind um, but I think they got lost in the rear diffuser a little bit and I paid like quite a bit of money for the Remus exhaust system for one and to have the carbon tips as well they were quite expensive and they just blended in and you, you couldn't really tell I had an aftermarket exhaust on it other than when you heard it and I wanted something a bit more showy and loud and oh look at me I've got a nice exhaust system like a knobhead so I bought these they're actually for a Golf R or come on the Golf R system I don't know why the Golf R and the S3 come with different exhaust tip options but you can't spec the four inch exhaust tips from Remus if you order an S3 exhaust you can only get the three inch exhaust tips at the biggest which is a bit shit really yeah that's the exhaust I've got uh, light tints front and rear uh, PPF smoke I'm probably gonna get a question on the tint percentage I don't actually know it's just a light smoke whether that is the boys over at roller plates always sort me out with the best reg plates use my discount for some money off cheeky plug yeah so other than that performance wise let's pop the herd we've got looks pretty much stock under here I'm not gonna lie so you probably can guess what intake I've got on yep you guessed it R600 baby coupled with a turbo technics intake hose with their little trumpet elbow thing that connects to the turbo pretty much all the MQB platform so the S3 the Golf R and the TTS majority of them run the R600 and the Turbo Technics intake hose it's a very common 
performance mod for these because that's one of the most restricting parts of the engine is the elbow into the turbo and the downpipe. So when you get those off, you can make some really big power of these engines. Um, easy upwards of like some stage three cars are running 560, 570 horsepower, which is ridiculous. This med stage one, APR stage one, med 386 and 402 pound feet of torque, which is all pub numbers and the car pulls really hard. It pulls really strong. I couldn't recommend the map enough. I know there's a lot of debacle in the car scene of custom maps, generic maps, blah, 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 but you get whatever is best for you and your budget. Yeah, that's, that's it, I think. I think I've covered everything. If you want to know a little bit more, my DMs on both my Instagrams are always open, messages, and they always reply. Come and chat to me over there if you want to know anything else. I'll leave a list of all my mods in the descriptions in case I've missed anything. And I think of it when I'm editing this back on my laptop. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the little walk with the dog earlier. We did, it was really nice actually that part. Lovely. If you could, smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you do to my car from this point or what you'd have done from it from when it left the factory. Yeah. That pretty much wraps it up. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. But with all that being said and done, stay healthy, stay safe. We'll get out of this and I'll see you on the other side. No, really. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.